Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're going to be taking a look at the DJI Power 1000 and the EcoFlow Delta 2 to talk about some of the differences between the two and perhaps help you decide which one is right for you. Summer is in full swing now and perhaps you're looking for a portable power station to power your camping trips, road trips, perhaps you're a mobile content creator, you need power on the go, or you're just looking for an emergency backup solution in case the power goes out. Both are great devices, but there are some key differences between the two, and that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. Now I'm gonna be comparing these two specific models, the EcoFlow Delta II and the DJI Power 1000 because they're very similar when it comes to specs and performance. Now to start out with the physical attributes, they're both very similar when it comes to size and weight. The Delta II comes in at 12 kilograms and the DJI Power 1000 comes in at 13 kilograms. So they are very similar and both are very manageable. But when it comes to overall footprint, the shape is a little bit different on each. They both have carry handles on the top here. So they're about the same when it comes to portability. Now, when it comes to the way the ports are placed on the devices, that's where we start to see some big differences. For example, the EcoFlow Delta II, we have our LCD screen here at the front with our USB-C ports. And if you want access to the charging ports or the AC ports, we have to spin it around to the back. We have our charging ports up at the top here, our AC ports, and we have a DC port. Whereas with the DJI Power 1000, everything is at the front. Our USB-C ports, our AC ports, and our charging ports. So that's gonna boil down to personal preference. Uh, myself, I actually like that all the ports are on the front of the DJI. Everything is easily accessible. I don't have to move it around or spin it around. And I think what EcoFlow is going for is that some of the AC ports might be things that you have plugged in on a regular basis. If you have this in a trailer or you're camping with it, you might have a crock pot or a coffee maker. Those are things that you don't need to be plugging in and out all the time and the cords are gonna be hanging out the back. That leaves the front ports fully open to things that are gonna be plugged in and out repeatedly, things like smartphones, tablets, laptops. All the other main cords are neatly tucked away at the back. So that all boils down to personal preference and what's gonna be most beneficial and convenient for you. But as mentioned myself, I do like how DJI has all the ports on the front. I like everything easily accessible. Now, when it comes to capacity, both these batteries are pretty well identical. They're both 1,024 watt hours, but there is a big difference when it comes to sustained performance and peak performance. The DJI Power 1000 can run stably at 2,200 watts and it can peak all the way up to 4,400 watts. Whereas the EcoFlow Delta is rated for 1,800 watts and it will peak at 2,700 watts. So the DJI Power 1000 can definitely power higher wattage. Now that's not gonna be important for everybody because quite often if you're using a high wattage device, you're just doing one thing at a time. But where it can become important is if you're charging something that's drawing a fair amount of wattage and then you wanna brew a coffee. Having that higher peak can just allow you to get that coffee brewed while the heater's on, like on a Keurig or something like that, without it tripping. So again, it's all gonna boil down to what your needs are and what you're gonna be using it for. Now, when it comes to charging these devices, again, they're very similar. The DJI Power 1000 can be recharged fully in about 70 minutes. The EcoFlow Delta can be recharged in about 80 minutes. So we're looking at about 10 minutes difference. So they're both actually quite good that way. And when it comes to longevity and how long these batteries are rated for, the DJI is rated for 4,000 charge cycles where it will maintain 70% charge. The EcoFlow Delta is rated for 3,000 charges where it can remain at 80% capacity. So both are gonna have good longevity for your investment. It's safe to say that you could use these pretty well every day, recharge them every day, and you're gonna use them for well over a decade. Now, when it comes to available charging ports, again, we see some big differences here. For example, on the Delta EcoFlow, we have six AC ports, whereas on the DJI, we only have two. Now, for most people, that's not gonna be a big issue because you're not gonna be powering that many high wattage devices. So usually two is enough. When we go to the front here of the Delta II, we have four USB-A and they all run at 18 watts, and we have two USB-C that run at 100 watts. Whereas the DJI here, we have two USB-A ports, they're at 24 watts, and we have two USB-C that run at 140 watts. So that higher wattage is going to be important to some people. According to DJI, you can power two 16-inch MacBooks. You can charge them all the way up to 50% in 30 minutes at the same time. So that's actually pretty impressive. So again, that's gonna boil down to personal preference and your needs. Do you prefer the higher wattage ports? Or with the Delta EcoFlow, you get two extra USB-A, but they are at a lower wattage. Now, one thing that's really different with the DJI Power 1000, and I really like this approach, is we have these two SDC ports. 
These are proprietary ports and they can be both for input and output. And I really like that because it makes the whole power system scalable and customizable to your needs. For example, if you're a drone pilot and you fly drones frequently, they have quick charging cables that allow you to charge your DJI drones quite quickly. It's not quite double as fast, but it's pretty close. So if you're a person who does a lot of flying and you need portable power to keep your drone batteries charged while out on the go, something like the DJI Power 1000 is a really good choice because it's going to allow you to charge your drone batteries a lot faster. They have cables for the Inspire 3, the Air 3, and the Mavic 3 series. But the other nice thing about those SDC ports is you can configure them to whatever you need. For example, with the EcoFlow Delta 2, we have one DC port, you know, and you're going to be using that to power things like coolers, uh, there's some coffee makers, different things like that, that run on that DC port. But say you have two DC coolers or a DC cooler and a coffee maker, you can't power them both at the same time. So with the DJI Power 1000, you can buy cables that adds DC ports. So if you have two devices, perhaps two coolers or a coffee maker and a cooler or a TV and a cooler, you can configure it to have two DC ports. And it's nice because it's scalable as your needs change. Whereas with the Delta EcoFlow, the ports you have on it is what's on there. These STC ports also is how you're gonna charge this device up via solar panel. And again, it's very flexible and scalable. Each one of these ports can support up to three solar panels using their adapter. So that allows you to recharge at a total of 800 watts with six solar panels. And according to DJI, using max wattage in ideal conditions, you can recharge this device to full in 1.3 hours. And that can be really important if you're relying on solar panel to power your camping trip, you're charging a lot of high powered devices, something like that can be extremely important. With the Delta EcoFlow, we have one port, it can charge at a max rate of 500 watts, and it can take upwards of four hours in ideal conditions to recharge it to full. But the nice thing about the SDC ports and the way DJI has done it with their adapter is each adapter can add three solar panels. So you can add solar panels as your needs grow. With the DJI Power 1000, because it has three ports per adapter, you could start out with a 100 watt solar panel. And if your needs grow, you could add a second 100 watt, a third 100 watt, up to six solar panels totaling 800 watts. So for some people that'll be very beneficial because it can adapt as your needs change. Now another advantage of the DJI Power 1000 over the EcoFlow Delta 2 is that it is extremely quiet when charging or you're powering devices. Like I mean, it's almost silent. EcoFlow Delta does get a little noisy. It's not too terribly bad, but it is quite noticeable. Now if you're outdoors, in situations like this, it's not too big of a deal. But if you're using this to power some computer equipment, maybe in an office during a power outage, you're doing some video recording or whatever, you know, that could become an issue. The differences are quite a bit between the decibel level, and I'll play some clips here for you. For example, with the EcoFlow Delta 2, when charging, it was fluctuating between 65 and 68 decibels while recharging the unit. While powering a device, I was charging up my electric dirt bike battery. You can see the decibel rating was at 62. The fan was on, keeping the system cool. Whereas with the DJI Power 1000, while recharging the device was 39. So again, almost silent. That 39 was basically the ambient noise in the room. But nothing coming from the device itself. When I was charging that same dirt bike battery, the decibel reading was 42. And I think that was just picking up the fan that was in the charger for that dirt bike battery. It's a 10 amp charger, so it has a pretty big fan in it. But basically the device itself was silent while charging. Again, that may not be a big issue for some people, but if you want something that's absolutely quiet, definitely the DJI Power 1000 is the better choice. Now, an advantage that the EcoFlow Delta 2 has over the DJI Power 1000 is that it actually has a companion app. So you can manage all your power settings from multiple devices. It'll give you a lot of important information and uh, some people are gonna really like that. At this point right now, the DJI Power 1000 does not have an app but that could change down the road. Another interesting feature of the EcoFlow Delta 2 is that it has this port on the side here. And what that is, is it allows you to add a secondary battery to the main device. So if you need even more power, you don't have to buy a whole new unit. You can buy these battery expansion modules, plug it in, and that's gonna greatly increase the capacity. So that's actually a really nice feature. So at the end of the day, they're both great power stations. They both work very well. EcoFlow has been around for a long time. DJI is new when it comes to power generators. 
But as we've seen with it, they've kind of hit the ball out of the park with it. It's actually quite nice. Some really nice new innovative features. And just like they do with their drones and action cameras, they have a highly polished product that just works extremely well. At the end of the day, they're both great devices. You're gonna be happy with whichever one you purchase. You just have to decide what features works best for your situation. Well, folks, that's basically it. That's my comparison of these two products. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and we'll see you in the next one.